Do you even know um, they're lying to you? I'm sorry, I didn't... Can I help you? This place is off limits. I disagree. Who let you in here? Let? <laughs> I'm afraid that isn't how this works. You're him? Yes. Michael. That is a real name. Are you here to kill me? No. Oh. Uh, why are... Why are you here? I am simply collecting what is mine, Archivist. The one who enters my domain. Miss Richardson? You own those hallways? What a fascinating question. Does your hand in any way own your stomach? In any case, it doesn't matter. The Wanderer had a brief respite, but it's over now. Well, you're too late. She's gone. <laughs> yes. Uh, did you notice which door she left through? Yes. Uh, wait. No, there was... A... Uh, there has never been a door there, Archivist. Your mind plays tricks on you. Let her go. <laughs> no. Get her back here! <laughs> Are you going to attack me? Ah! 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell are you? I am not a who, Archivist. I am a what? A who? requires a degree of identity I can't ever attain. So, Michael isn't your real name? There is no such thing as a real name. What are you talking about? I am talking about myself. It's not something I'm used to doing, so I'm sorry if I'm not very good at it. You decided to appear down here and stab me anyway. I wanted to talk you. I intervened to save you before. I'm, I'm interested in what happens next. Yes, well, thank you for that, I suppose. And you still haven't told me why you intervened at all. <laughs> I'm normally neutral, yes, but the loss of this place would have unbalanced the struggle too early. I'm keen how it progresses. You make it sound like there's a war. <laughs> then I will say nothing further. I wouldn't wish to tarnish your ignorance prematurely. Goodbye, Archivist. Wait! Ah! Uh, 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 Michael? Michael? But as I sat to savour my victory, it became clear that a great cut on my leg had gone clean through the material. There was no way that I was not infected, and indeed over these last few hours I have felt the sickness working on me. My pace is sluggish, and I can feel my skin begin to loosen. My heart is beating so fast it shakes my whole body. But I shall not wait for it to putrefy as the rot overtakes me. I have dragged those other afflicted I could find into the park plats, laid them at the feet of that appalling throne, and taken the last gifts of that generous construction site. A dozen cans of petrol. I will sit upon that seat and release these poor souls from their suffering. And hopefully make things simpler for the CDC cleanup crews. Perhaps you were right about the extinction. I have been hunting it for decades now, and while I have seen evidence of its influence in other powers, I have never found anything to genuinely prove its emergence as a true power of its own. Perhaps it is an existential fear that flows through the others like a vein of awe. Or perhaps the birth of such things is longer and more complicated than I believed. 
For all that, though, I cannot regret the time I have spent seeking it. I have done my duty, and none may ask more of me. I am proud of the work we have done, and it has been an honor to do it alongside you. Goodbye, Gertrude. May you find your rest where no shadows are cast, and no eyes may see you slumber. Statement ends. Well, looks like two people. An old guy and, and a woman with a scar. Oh god, now? Why now? It's probably not a coincidence. From what I saw, they've been toying with the rest of the Institute. But it won't be long until they're all dead or escaped. And then they're coming here. Okay. Set up by the door. Try and take them when they break through. Right. Do, uh, do I get a gun? You have a fired one. You never taught me! You never asked. Besides, we've got problems enough without... Hello, John. Oh, shit. You gotta be fucking kidding. Go! Shy boy! <laughs> we wanna make a statement. Oh, hello! What have we here? New friends? <laughs> Not new friends! Even better! What the hell is that thing? You see that old thing? You remember what happened to Sasha? That's the thing that took her. It was trapped in the tunnels, it? Martin. Something's happening down there. If he's down there with Peter, or Elias. Damn it, we need to get down there. Oh, I'll just head over and stick of that thing. They'll follow us. God damn it. John, go. We'll keep them busy. What? No, I... Don't argue. Just go. Fine. Just don't die. Go. Yeah, Sierra. Didn't think it would end like this. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I think I did. <laughs> Basira, promise me something. What? No, Daisy, no. Basira, when this is over, you need to find me and kill me. Promise me. No. No, Daisy, we'll figure something out. Can't hide forever, John. This last month's I it was always bottom time. Can't I run it forever? Daisy, promise me. I promise. Thanks. No run. Daisy. Run. <laughs> there you are. All alone. And there, I think, we are brought just about up to date. I have enjoyed our little trip down memory lane, but past here lies only impatience. You are prepared. You are ready. You are marked. The power of the ceaseless watcher flows through you, and the time of our victory is here. Don't worry, John. You'll get used to it here, in the world that we have made. Now, repeat after me. You who watch and know and understand none. You who listen and hear and will not comprehend. You, who wait and wait, and drink in all that is not yours by right. Come to us in your wholeness. Come to us in your perfection. 
Bring all that is fear, and all that is terror, and all that is the awful dread that crawls and chokes and blinds and falls and twists and leaves and hides and weaves and burns and hunts and rips and bleeds and dies. Come to us. I open the door. Everything, it's all gone wrong. Help me up. No, 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 don't, don't, don't go outside. It's, it's real bad. Oh God. I don't know if it's just here or no. if it... No, it's everywhere. They're all here now. I can feel all of it. John, I'm scared. The whole world is afraid, Martin. Because of me. And the Watcher drinks it all in. John, look at the sky, Martin. Look at the sky. It's looking back. <laughs> There is a place, deep in the heart of fear, where you trap yourself and claim that it is safety. It was once a cabin and professes still to be such, but as with all in this new world that promises respite, it is a trap. The land outside is warped and twisted by the touch of those things that feed on your suffering, and behind those rough wooden planks it seems they cannot reach you. The screams may linger on the distant breeze, and your eye may wander beyond the curtains from time to time, but you and the one you love are, it seems, safe. If you had need to eat, no doubt there would be food. If you had need to sleep, no doubt the beds would be welcoming. But you have need of neither, and so you sit in your meagre comfort and belief of security with nothing to do, nothing to distract your mind from the agonies that lie just beyond your window. And those diversions you do find will offer no relief, but simply numb the mind into mournful nostalgia for a time when the world you inhabited seemed to make sense. Something moves outside struggling to crawl upon a hundred reaching, grasping hands. It shudders and grips the earth, pulling itself along as nails rip free and skin scrapes loose. It is afraid of what it has become and where it might be going. Close your eyes. Ignore the sounds. You, at least, are safe. There within the thing that pretends to be a cabin is the one you love. You hold each other, whisper words of reassurance, but the place knows this comfort to be a lie and laces upon it instead the awful fear of losing what you have, of it being stripped away by the chaos that waits for you beyond the walls. Hold each other, it croons. Be happy. But know always that this happiness is a lie, built on the squirming bones of those whose suffering you have caused. It will not let you feel the warmth of joy that this love may claim to gift. It is only a mouldy treasure to be clung to, something to fear the loss of as you hold it so tight that it withers and warps. It is a rotten sanctuary of lonely companionship. We're so far beyond her now. 
She's just like everything else here, ruled by the eye. And she hates it. Oh, of course you want to wallow in my shame like your voyeur master. Do you know how it feels to be anonymous and yet known? To have all the sweetest dread I can create tainted by the relentless gaze of that damned eye. Well, I've suffered enough. Pathetic. Martin, let's go. I'm not as pathetic as your little friend when I ate her life. What did you say? I'm sorry, John. You were wrong, you know. There is more suffering than you can ever experience. So much more. The horror of your victims. Their constant, senseless agony. Feel it now. Understand it. You have drawn out so much despair, and now, finally, it's your turn. Cease this watcher. Turn your gaze upon this wretched thing. No! No!